Break in. You want to rig the election of a man that knows how many gallons of oil is stolen every year? Kenneth Okunko quarries INEC over P2B. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post such juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Popular Nigerian actor turned politician Kenneth Okunko has queried INEC for allegedly vegan the just concluded 2023 elections. The gallant Labour Party card bearer via his Instagram page insisted that his principal P2B must have won the elections. Okonkwa took it upon himself to remind INEC officials of how he will be fought for his governorship can mandate in Anambra State and won against Chris Ngege. A man that knows how many gallons of oil has been sold in every year in Nigeria. You want to rig the elections without asking questions. The fear of P2B is the beginning of INEC sweating and the courtroom defending itself. Ask Mazi Chris Ngege what happened in 2006 when they stole Obi's mandate. In Diala, Kenneth Okonkwo wrote, Record that there have been speculations across Nigeria that the 2023 presidential election may end up in a constitutional crisis. For most of the results of last Saturday's presidential election announced, it is looking likely that the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tunumbo, will end up with the highest number of valid votes. Tunumbo will also have garnered at least 25% votes in at least 24 states of the Federation. But the 1999 constitution says 24 states and the Federal Capital Territory. This has led to different interpretations. The results from the FCT showed that APC had just 19.8% and Atiko Bobaka of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, had 16.1%, compared to Labour Party, P2B, who picked up 61%. There is no runoff. Bryce Akwami Adedevo, whose legal practice straddles between Nigeria, Ghana and the UK, has said, the, two, the other two, Tunibu and Atiku, have won 25% in 24 states. The FCT is not a state, otherwise the reading you are applying would require that even if someone won 25% in 36 states, but did not win 25% in Abuja, that a person has not won. So we should be expecting an INEC announcement of a winner by tomorrow, I'm sure, Adadevo said. Now, let me tell you this. Uh, in case you're seeing this news, Simbo has actually been pronounced president-elect. And though I know that it is, I know that Labour Party, they are warming up for, you know, taking this up in the constitutional um, setting in the court. But it's, I am also, I'm also not putting so much hopes there so as not to be heartbroken. I will tell you the truth. And this is because this process, we have seen, you know, the courts, we have seen their past being reduced to nothing. We have seen this um, sitting administration treat the judiciary as if they tool instead of treating them as a fellow arm of government. That is why this particular um, what's it called? And they'll go to court. They'll go to court. They'll meet in courts. Uh, I am not. I'm not saying I, I. I'm not saying they're not going to. You know, be able to slug it out. But I'm saying, you know, this sitting administration has actually ridiculed the judiciary and brought them down to level zero. Okay, my brother Kenneth, we did not win this election. You know why? Our people have refused to learn how to play politics in a multi-ethnic country like ours. We must form alliances to become president. Till then, I advise you to align yourself for the wish of majority and stop sounding pathetic. Ogapakwa, hmm. nobody is listening to you. This is not a movie act. Now, eight years so far, you did take place so. You that know how to act in the first place, uncle, see, your sh see how shabby your rigging is. The thing is, whether I like it or not, it is crystal clear that um, this election was not free. It was not fair and it was not credible. I don't know who won, but it was not free and fair. I tell you and I kid you not. There were a lot of, a lot of mistakes. A lot of things we saw. A lot of things that we had just done in such a harshly manner that we are looking like, even if these people won't even do this thing, she didn't go do and well. I'm telling you. Okay. We'll be one Anambra, Imo, Ebo, and APC state. Imo, also APC, navigation of Regan. So, Labour Party is trying to say that other parties no longer have supporters in Nigeria. Please, where are you, where are you, where are you calling APC states? Imo. <laughs> Imo that their governor was, was forced upon them, the way this one is about to be forced upon us. My play you do. Hey, tell I like to upload the result of the electric of the okay to upload the result electronically. You are not ashamed trying to allow Tunubu to be your president. <laughs> Let me tell you, people, don't even go there. 
You are saying Eboin. Eboin was a PDP state, then the governor defected to APC. Let me remind you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Abi, Obi even get mine to be a Siwaju Bala Blue for Lagos. Where is the rigging now? Kenneth, you are correct. Not only amount, not knowing amount of stolen crude oil, but also amount of hydro passing through the borders. Unfortunately, several boss are in the chamber with this illicit money, but can't know by the conscience of the masses. Hmm. Okay, Yakubu, you are really a disgrace and a shame to all Nigerians. Just imagine the legacy you want to remember. The man does not care. These people do not care. After the election, they'll fly out, go to countries where their laws are working, and they'll be very obedient citizens in those countries. But in time they come back to Nigeria here, the ability to reason well and to behave properly, it leaves them. Cause of evil money, tell me give all of them in the name of bribes. They regret it all. They should go and meet Obi in court. This is nothing but empty threat. Let's wait until we meet in court. No problem. Okay. With your wide mouth, just as your useless father has been stealing, don't worry, by the time they lock many of you in jail, your mothers will come to an aid. Useless idiots without home trade. Even if they kill you, nothing will happen. Just continue to instigate people to break the law. Why are you sounding so... Why is sounding so bitter? See, this is not the time to sound bitter. You can allow your emotions to come outside and speak. But please, don't allow it to get to the place where you're going to be insulting people. <laughs> I'm telling you, this period, a lot of people go mean a lot of people. If you are the type that usually come online and incite people and go away, this is certainly not the time. Please refrain from doing so. Mr. Peter B. and Dati Ahmed won the election with about 15 million votes. Thanks. Thank God he has the figures and facts, okay? Mio, I'm not saying that he does not have the figures. If truly, that is the truth. Because me, the way that you do the election, self God, it shows a lot of questions need to be asked. And if you start asking it, <laughs> some people go to peace for body. My own is, we dare allow the judiciary to be really independent. That is my problem. We dare allow them to perform as an arm of the government. In Nigeria, all annex chairman go into hiding after the crime and evil elections. Take note, he is not the first, but these 23 chairman Mahmoud cannot escape the wrath of God's law. Millions of Nigerians vote stolen is brought crying for vengeance. The foundation of fabrics holding Nigeria is wrong. The cabal stealing Nigeria resources are against P2B and the masses that doesn't have the knowledge are supporting them. My dear, all I know is that come what's me, no matter who wins, eh? No matter who wins, no matter who wins, eh? for me and mine, the best is yet to come. I don't know about you, <laughs> no matter who wins, for me and mine, the best is yet to come. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of your news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next.